guys. So I got my Husqvarna lawnmower here. And this front tire has a slow leak. I gotta put air in it every time I uh, mow the grass. So I was just uh, seeing where it was leaking. I didn't see anything wrong with the tire and then I seen there's a crack on the sidewall there. So I thought I'd show you guys a quick easy way to find leaks in your tires. Like everyone probably knows soap and water, but in my garage I normally don't have like soap and water. I would have to go down the house, put soap in a bottle, put some water in it. So that takes time. Well, a quick easy way that most people have in their garage is uh, tire foam. Got this tire foam. So I'll just spray some right on, on the tire. You go right around the where you suspect there could be a leak. And you can see already the air bubbles right there that are appearing. And then I'll, once it starts to, uh, the foam goes away, you'll see it much more clear. As you can see now, you can see if you can see that the bubbles are uh, clearly showing that there's air leaking out of there. So this is just a quick easy way, something you'll have in, most people have in their garage. You don't have to get a water bottle with some soap in it. It takes literally 30 seconds to do. And you can see plain as day where your leak is. So if you guys found this video helpful at all, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Since this video is so short, I thought I would just give a little channel update. What's happening, what you can expect, as I'll be uploading a lot more now. This is why I haven't uploaded lately, because I said I was going to. It's, I decided to stain my house. And it's kind of a long, boring process, so I'm not going to do much video of it. I'm going to be changing all the fascia and soffits to white and putting on new eaves and uh, some snow stops. Might uh, video some of that. But the staining, I'm not going to. But after I'm done the staining, I'm going to be landscaping my yard. Got a whole bunch of landscaping to do. All those tre trees need to come out. There's a lake behind there. There's a big bedrock up there. And all along there, I'm going to be building a fence all up the front. That's the highway there. There's going to be a fence so this dog's not cooped up. I just put her in because every time I'm talking on a video by myself, she thinks I'm talking to her, so she starts jumping at me. So I got, there'll be lots of tractor work. This whole side of the yard needs to be landscaped. I'm gonna redo that barn, refinish it, tear down this shed, build a wood shed there. I got wood boiler stuff related. I'll be getting tons of firewood back in the bush there. The quad, the tractor, skidoo. So I'll be building that firewood shed. Hopefully before this season's over, this shed here is coming down and building a new shed there. I'm going to be using some of the wood out of this, just mainly the walls, like the studs. Be resheating it and everything, a new roof, tearing out all this, making this a nice big uh, driveway. Some of it's probably lawn, but when I come in with my trailers, I want to be able to turn around here. So yeah, anyways, if you like tractors, chainsaws, firewood, wood boilers, building, renovating landscaping, quads, skidoos welding mechanic work it's kind of all everything basically diy on on an acres but the uh, first upcoming projects is on my agenda is getting this house finished stained if i get the soft and fascia done that's great but i'll be putting on the snow stops for sure so staining and snow stops on the roof for sure and then tearing the shed down is my next goal and and uh, leveling that all out up there to build a shed almost that size. I haven't decided what size exactly, but that'll be for my firewood for my wood boiler right there. Then I'm, I want to be, there's an old Nissan up there. I'm going to restore and make it a little bush truck. Got another Nissan up there I use for a bush truck, but I want that one's not platable. That one over there is platable. That one I got rear ended and it rode off. You could see my other video of the accident. So, yeah. If that interests you at all, please subscribe and follow me along the way. Maybe you can learn something, teach me something. I appreciate you guys watching.